I just got a job, but I was unemployed for three months. Okay, and you paid so me, and you charged me twice. I like the court to know that I was charged twice. I was billed twice. I paid two payments, two sixteen seventy nine payments. And for everybody else on this call who's hearing this, I'm paying sixteen seventy nine for one child, and I paid that twice in, in August. The state did nothing to to correct that. Uh, I was unemployed for a few months. Uh, the state was still billing me uh, that same rate, and I wasn't getting paid anything at all. They say hell hath no fury like a woman scorn, and today's video absolutely proves it. Now, before we get started in this video, let me guys tell you, if you're already having a bad day and you don't want to see something to make you more upset, I suggest that you don't watch the remainder of this video because this one will absolutely make your blood boil. But what we have here is a 20-year military vet currently paying $1,700 a month for one child who lost his job over three months ago, but the mother is dragging him back into court to get more money. For anyone in your life that does not understand how men are unfairly treated within the family court system, I need you to send them this video. Without further ado. Your Honor, the state filed a modification in this case. There is one child before the court. There are no agreements. I call the mother. Ma'am, can you state your name for the record? Nicole Hall. Ma'am, what's the name and age of the child in this case? Brayden Allen Hall. He's nine. And who does the child live with? He lives with me. Ma'am, was there a previous order ordering child support? Yes. And ma'am, was there a previous order um, regarding um, medical support? Yes. Um, please tell the judge who was ordered to carry medical support in the past. Yes, Judge. The father, Alan Hall, was ordered to pay for the child's medical, dental, and vision. Okay. And can you tell the judge what was the previous amount of your child support? Sixteen seventy nine. Okay. And ma'am, um, based on the information that the state um, received, um, we are calculating that child support should now be $1,840 beginning December 1st, 2023. Are you in agreement with that? Yes. And ma'am, are you asking the court for the father to carry insurance through TRICARE? Yes. And ma'am, to your understanding, is there a cost for TRICARE or is that is that free? Under his uh, retired TRICARE, it should be free. I'm not completely sure at this time. And ma'am, are you asking for your address to remain private from this court record? Yes. Why? I just feel safer that way. Okay. Um, has there been any issues with family violence between you and the father since the last order? No. Okay. What do you think would happen if the father had your address? I um, don't know. No. I mean, anything is possible in the world we live today. Okay, I pass this witness. Of course she's going to agree to that type of an increase. Did you guys see them long-ass eyelashes? She's obviously got to continue to maintain them. Or that dust-filled weave wig thing that adorns her skull. Honestly, does it even look like she works? You're increasing the vet support while the mama doesn't work? Got it. And just to continue to prove how ridiculous $1,700 a month is in the state of California. On average, a typical child support monthly payment is about four to five hundred dollars. But y'all got this man paying a small mortgage to support her lifestyle. But let's continue to watch what else this woman wants to take from this man. Um, sir, can you state your name for the record? My name is Alan Hall Jr. And um, Mr. Hall, did you were you previously ordered to pay child support? Yes. How much was your previous amount? It changed several times, but the last one was 1679. Okay. And you understand that the state is now asking for $1,840. Yeah, I understand. I'm getting charged the max. Absolutely. Okay. Are you in agreement with that? I don't have a choice. Uh, sir, are you currently um, receiving um, retired military benefits? I get retired pay. That's it. Okay. And you understand that we calculated. Tricare for, tri for okay. retired is not free. Okay. How much is tri? How much is Tricare for your? If you were to enroll your child, or, or how much is it now? It's I don't I don't know because when I tried to call, they didn't let me do it because he was already being covered. So 
I don't know what the cost will be, but it will be a cost. Okay. Um, do you know if that cost is reasonable? Um, of course, it's not reasonable, but I, I don't have a choice. I have to pay it. Um, do you have, I know you said you don't know, but is it like $1,000, $100? Do you have any indication of how much that think, insurance is? I think all total, I think it's like $500 a month. For just the child or for both of you? For Yeah, for the plan, yeah. Okay, for both of you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say 250 for the child. Yes. Okay. Um, sir, besides TRICARE, um, it's my understanding that you are also working. Is that correct? I just got a job, but I was unemployed for three months. Okay. And you, so, me, and you charged me twice in one of those months, and I wasn't getting paid. In what? You charged me twice. You charged, I charged me twice. You twice. The court, the state, whoever, they, okay. they, 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 they charged me twice in August. Okay. And you understand you can contact the office of the attorney general if you dis if you want to dispute I, any charge. I did, that. I did that. Look how rude and defensive this lawyer is by the father simply stating that he got charged twice, which should raise major red flags, then showing him just a little bit of sympathy. This man has basically earned his retired military benefits by serving our country and now you guys are just taking it from him. And notice how the mother continuously rolls her eyes as he states that he's being double charged. I mean, instead of rolling your eyes, you could have returned the money to him, you bloodsucker. But instead, you are back in here asking for more money. Make it make sense. And they, they didn't respond okay. at all. So back to the issue at hand, as far as your new employment, um, does that employer offer any insurance? I go with Humana Military. So I declined and I stayed with the retired plan. Well, the reason I ask is because I hear you saying that TRICARE is expensive. Have you explored the cost? It's that more, you would... it, yes, it's more expensive okay. for okay. civilian military. Okay, understood. Um, do you have any other information that you would like to offer to the court? Yes, um, I'd like the court to know that I was charged twice. I was billed twice. I paid two payments. Okay. Do 1679 payments. And for everybody else on this call who's hearing this, I'm paying 1679 for one child. And I paid that twice in, in August. The state did nothing to, to correct that. Uh, I was unemployed for a few months. Uh, the state was still billing me uh, that same rate. And I wasn't getting paid anything at all. Um, and then I finally got a job now, making less than what I was making before. And now I'm now I'm getting charged the max. So uh, I tried to call healthcare, uh, TRICARE. Um, they said he was already being covered by someone for free, but yet um, it sounds like, you know, that you want me to pay it. Um, and I'm I'm fine with that. I've done everything I'm supposed to do since I've, since this whole thing started. It's for me, it's not about doing what I need to do because I'm all for that. Um, but I don't think that's the case for everybody involved. All right, uh, sir, regarding the mother's request for non-disclosure, are you in agreement with her address remaining private from the court record? Absolutely. I, I don't I don't need that at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, I pass this witness. All right. Um, if you find something cheaper, definitely try to do that, Mr. Hall. Uh, I'm going to order you carry the health insurance. Uh, the payment you extra made, that's not relevant to what we're here for today. Uh, what you need to look at is see if they did reflect both payments on your pay record. And Absolutely. if they did, then you got credit. Please don't interrupt me. When If they have given you credit for both payments, then you are, haven't lost any money. Uh, if you were out of work, then it paid for some of those arrears maybe. Uh, but Or if you had no arrears, then it paid for future child support. So you're not losing either way unless it doesn't show that you have made a payment. So uh, sometimes that may happen if you have two jobs and uh, the employers don't know what they're supposed to do as far as what they're supposed to stop or whatever. So that's probably what the problem was. It wasn't that it was kind of that transition time. Uh, <clears throat> child support is 1,840 and I'm not granting your non-disclosure request, Ms. Hall. If there's no reason to give it, then I, there's no reason to do it. Uh, Mr. Both y'all are to let each other know each other's addresses. I cannot make assumptions based on no information or no evidence or just because I don't want to. Uh, so you need to let Mr. Hall know where you where you live so that he has that address and he needs to do the same. The Attorney General's office will draft an order with all that in there. 
and uh, I will sign it and then email you a copy. Y'all are done with court. You can press leave on the Zoom to exit out. Thank you. The man said he earned more money at a previous job, got a job that pays less, and you still continue to charge him more. Fire this judge immediately. $1,800 a month for one child. How do y'all sleep at night allowing this shit to occur? $1,800 a month for one child is crazy. For that amount, you could support three kids. After this man told the judge that he was without a job for three months and now being charged more, even though his new employment pays less. And do y'all really think that him petitioning is going to get his money back? It's absolutely not. But this is how the state exploits men and will continue to do so, which is why I will continue to do these court cases because it's the best way to demonstrate exactly all of the content that I talk about on this channel. This situation is not fake. It is not an acted out IG script. These are real situations affecting and impacting real people. But I need you guys to understand is that above all of this mistreatment, he made a decision to give, willfully give his seed to this woman. And although I'm sure he's proud of what he created, I bet you if I had the opportunity to ask him, he would have rather done it with someone else. Gentlemen, you must understand is that the state could give two shits about you in these family court proceedings. So if you're engaging and releasing your seat, especially with a woman that you know you don't want to be next to, this can be your future. Do not prioritize the feeling that you get of without a condom because that's short-term thinking. You're exchanging the short-term dopamine hit for the long-term potentiality of this situation happening to you. And that's why I'm gonna leave this video here today. Guys, drop me your comments down below. Let's have a conversation about this particular case. And last but not least, if you guys wanna join my male self-development community, link to it down in the description box down below. The brotherhood up there and the knowledge grows each and every day. I'll see you soon. Until next time, you two. Peace. Peace.